Astronomers at Caltech have used a computer algorithm to classify 1,000 supernovas, the bursting remnants of long-dead stars. Data from the Zwicky Transient Facility, or ZTF, a sky survey instrument attached to the Samuel Oshin Telescope at Caltech's Palomar Observatory, was used to generate the catalog using the algorithm, dubbed SNI-ASCORE. ZTF provides an endless stream of data every night by scanning the sky for fleeing or transitory phenomena, like racing asteroids, feeding black holes, and supernovae. As a result, the ZTF team realized they needed a tool like SNI-ASCORE to help them sort through all the mountain of data. Since ZTF's first observations in 2017, the study has uncovered thousands of supernovae that can be broken down into two major classes, Type 1 supernovae, which show no evidence of hydrogen, and Type 2 supernovae, which are abundant in hydrogen. Type 1a supernovae occur most often when a large star rips material from a nearby donor star, which then falls to the surface of the ripping star and causes a thermonuclear explosion. On the other hand, Type II supernovae happen when huge stars run out of fuel for nuclear fission and can't prevent their own collapse due to gravity. Type IIa supernovae, as identified by SNI-ASCORE, are cosmic explosions of a unique sort. This occurs when a star is nearing the end of its life and burst, producing a brightness so consistent that astronomers refer to them as standard candles. Anyone can use these standard candles to estimate the expansion rate of the universe and other cosmic distances. After ZTF's nightly search for transient events and objects is complete, the data it gathers is sent to a dome housing, an instrument called a Spectral Energy Distribution Machine, or SEDM. To determine which of the detected supernovae belong to the Type 1a class, SNI-ASCORE collaborates with SEDM. As a consequence, the ZTF group is compiling a solid database of supernovae that may be used by astronomers to delve further into the physics of these massive star explosions. Since its implementation in April 2021, they have not discovered any clearly misclassified events. Nevertheless, they do want to deploy the same algorithm with additional monitoring facilities in the future, so it can identify future supernovae of other sorts. The machine learning technology is already displaying how astronomy is evolving and even changing before these developments are implemented. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.